everybody welcome in this is love goddess tarot my name is maureen welcome to my channel if this is your first time i'm so happy you stopped by to all my regular viewers and subscribers hi guys i love you thanks for being here you are absolutely the best i love all your beautiful comments i love connecting with you and i'm so happy that i can help guide you towards love so we do pick a card love readings here every week on YouTube, and I have also added a little fun bonus for my viewers, which is the shout out. And a shout out is a one card, one question love reading, which I do right here while I'm filming my video. So that way we can kind of interact and chat and you can be really involved in each of the readings. So today's shout out is for Sasha. Hi, Sasha. Here is your shout out. I pull one card. She asked one question and her question was what I could tell her about her future boyfriend. So let's see what we get for Sasha today, and then we're going to take a look at each one of the cards. Okay, wow, beautiful, Sasha. You got the strength card. Are you a Leo? Because this is a very big Leo card. What I see coming for you is someone who is going to empower you, someone who's going to be your true equal, and someone who you can really show all sides of yourself to. So this is a really beautiful, powerful connection that's coming for you. I'm so excited. So that's your reading today. Okay, everyone, if you want to get your own shout out, if you have a love question you want answered by me, the love goddess, all you have to do is check the link in the description section below of this video. And the link is to my website and you can go there and book one question yourself. It's only $11. So fun. Okay. So now this pick a card love reading today is very fun. As you can see, I have famous people on the top of each pile and they're all really kind of powerful women in their own way. So I thought it was kind of fun to use them um, and see which card you're drawn to. So today's pick a card love reading is going to look at your future partner, your future relationship. So what I thought I'd do is give you a closer look at each one of these amazing women. So number one, you have Rihanna. Number two is Cleopatra. Number three is Lena Dunham. And number four is Joan of Arc. So they're all different time periods, all different kinds of people, um, but all really powerful in their own way. So take a moment, pause the video if you need to. You can listen to more than one pile if you are drawn to more than one. These are general readings. So what that means is the messages that are meant for you will come to you. Anything that doesn't work, leave behind. One, two, three, four, the timestamps are below. Hey, number one, here's your reading. You chose Rihanna as your power female card, which I love. Um, and the Rihanna card says, the better you are, the better it is. Sometimes you have to stick it out through the storm. You have to be strong to let yourself be weak. So it's amazing. Um, it's such a powerful message about, you know, staying true to yourself. And, um, you know, Rihanna has always done things her own way. So the energy for you is coming through as someone who is independent, somebody who has, um, you know, who who's really looking to express themselves in love and have someone who can kind of stand up to that. So um, now we're going to look at the partner energy for you in this relationship. Okay, so the person, the partner energy coming in is George Clooney. Now, if you're young and you're like, oh, gross, he's so old. Um, it's just the energy of George Clooney. It's not the age or anything like that. We're just getting the energy here. And so George Clooney says, if you commit the perfect heist, make sure you don't don't brag about it. Intelligence is the sexiest attribute. Once you share your personal life, it's not personal. So we have two very powerful people here. And this relationship for me um, is really about 
keeping each other's confidence, about really being able to tell each other everything and keeping your private life really private. So it feels like both of you have that kind of um, energy of like this very strong and powerful emotional connection. I'm picking up on a lot of Pisces and Scorpio energy for the two of you. Um, the partner coming in, this person in this relationship is giving me someone that kind of is mysterious, who has um, that sex appeal, that like that mystery around them. Also, this person is really, really smart and successful. They could be slightly older than you, but um, it's really not this, you know, the actual ages of the people here. It's just kind of the energy that I'm picking up on. Um, but yeah, this is about two people that really guard their privacy but um, who are really fun and like energetic in public, who have a lot of friends who, um, you know, maybe maybe you both have a lot of social life and you do things together. So this relationship feels like something that you guys share a lot. You go out, you do things, but you keep your private life private. And it's like you're both super private people. OK, so that's what's coming through at first. Um, now let's pull some more cards and get some specifics about you, your connection. I love both of, both of them. I love Rihanna's music. Um, I don't really use her makeup, but, um, I, you know, I think her sunglasses are really amazing. <laughs> and George Clooney is obviously hugely successful with his tequila brand. And so it's also giving me a lot of creative energy for the two of you that you come together in sort of maybe that entrepreneurial way. Okay, so we have the Magician reversed. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the King of Cups. Okay, there's all that I was feeling for that Scorpio and Pisces energy. We've got lots of water sign coming through. Um, so what I see is that there's something about your connection um, in this relationship that maybe helps you get back in touch with that beautiful magician inside. That maybe in the past in relationships you didn't feel valued or you didn't feel that your partners or the people you know in your love life really got you or um, maybe they kept you down in a way in terms of like expressing yourself um, but what I see with this connection in the present is there is a connection with money with success between the two of you and maybe even with family so there could be um, a family member or something with a family business that brings you together and again that beautiful water sign energy with the king of cups this person coming in is going to be really emotionally connected and available this is someone who definitely wants to build a life together and I do see a lot of like money and success around the two of you not only because you're Rihanna and George Clooney but there is ooh, look at this okay so we got the two of pentacles and we're talking about money here and pentacles a lot of times can be um, messages about money so what I feel like is there's a there has some sort of um, struggle or juggling at first with this relationship um, between say a lot of responsibilities work maybe even a family business something that you have to juggle um, the relationship and work okay let's get more about that or for some of you, you actually could be juggling two people, okay? So it could be that there are two people in your life at the time that this relationship kind of comes together. But let's see what else we get about that energy. Wow, beautiful, the two of cups. So, I mean... You guys are really coming through as that beautiful twin flame, soulmate energy, best friends. Um, this person, like I said, there's just this beautiful water earth sign connection between you. This person like really looks you in the eye and tells you, like sees your soul and knows how you feel without you telling them how you feel. There's just this super, super strong connection between the two of you. And this relationship is one that's going to be really powerful and I think long lasting. I feel like this is kind of going to be the one. Um, 
and it's probably something that you really wanted to have and wanted to manifest, but maybe you lost faith in the past because of those past relationships. But this energy that's coming through for this relationship is really, really beautiful. Ooh, I love it. Okay. Let's get you some crystal cards and see what comes through about this connection. Okay, you have black tourmaline, regeneration, Pluto, number 11. Wow, you've got that beautiful, beautiful angel, number 11, um, manifestation, that magician energy, that magic, black tourmaline, regeneration. You know, it's interesting because... Um, with this stone, it can really absorb any kind of like negative, um, negative energy around. And so I feel like because you got that magician reversed, you may have had people or have people around you, you know, um, love energy that wasn't positive. And it's, it's like this relationship, it takes that away. And this person in this connection is just like all about this complete transformation because Pluto is the planet of transformation and change and it's super powerful. So I also feel unbelievable chemistry here um, and an unbelievably strong connection. It feels like it just, it's like, it's like something so deep, you know? I think of that, like that black tourmaline color. I don't, I don't have one right here. I have, I, I have black tourmaline, but I don't have it right here. I'd show it to you. Um, but that's really amazing. And that's what I feel. I feel like this deep, deep soul connection between the two of you. You have trust the niggle. What is niggling feeling trying to tell you? Wow, this is really interesting. So for those of you that are single right now and you are thinking like, wow, I think I know who this person is. Um, trust that. Trust if you're having some sort of an, an intuitive intuitive hit of feeling about this connection. Um, also, if there's something going on in your life with someone else and you're just not trusting them or you feel like there's a trust issue, listen to your gut. Listen to your intuition. It never fails you, okay? So this is kind of like um, part of that, what I'm feeling with that black tourmaline, that maybe there's some energy that you need to um, step away from with that magician reversed um, and go towards this much more positive connection, okay? Because what I'm getting, what I'm picking up on is for you guys, you might be kind of drawn to these mysterious bad boys. And like with the George Clooney card, it's like there's kind of a mysterious part of him, but it's also this um, solid person, not bad boy. <laughs> you know, it's like got the, got the like the fun part, the mysterious, the little twinkle in their eye, but not like the deep, dark, creepy stuff. So um, I think that is part of it. It's like I'm getting this connection is going to be with like this bad boy mystic type, you know, rather than like bad boy, bad boy. You know what I mean? Um, wow, so cool. Okay, let's get you an overall message about this connection what do you need to know today house wow number four yeah this is some this is a relationship that um and it's the king of cups the king of hearts is the king of cups oh my god look at this Beautiful. So yeah, perfect. It's confirmation. This person is this water sign energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you know, that that real intuitive, um, connected energy, someone who you can really share a lot with. And the thing about the house card is that's all about stability and security and structure. Um, I feel like this person's going to be protective and provide you that structure, that security that maybe you haven't had in past relationships, um, you know, rather than just being, like I said, that, that kind of dark energy or that edgy or that, um, you know, bad boy stuff. This is also someone that's going to bring you that, that sense of warmth and like a safe place and comfort. Okay. That's what's coming through. Um, I see a lot of like sharing times together with your friends, with families, people coming over. 
um, you know, like I think about George Clooney's got this amazing place in um, Lake Como in Italy and like all these people always go there and he throws all these parties and that's what it feels like. It feels like this connection is going to be um, like really welcoming and really, you know, like a lot of good times and a lot of sharing stuff together. Okay, beautiful. Now, I'm going to do a charm reading, so you might want to turn the volume down if you've got headphones in. While you do that, I will remind you, you can check the description section for the link to my website if you want to get a shout-out reading like the one I did today for Sasha. Hi, Sasha. You can check the intro at the beginning of the video if you want to see what it's like. I pull one card for one love question, and it's $11. You can also purchase the Aphrodite Love Oracle there. Ooh, you know what, guys? I just realized I didn't pull you the Aphrodite Love Oracle today. So let's do that before we do charms. What do you need to know today about this connection? Chocolate, Aphrodite's food, rich, indulgent, delicious, fantasy, number 26. Your love life is getting an upgrade. Oh my God. This you know, the George Clooney, Rihanna thing, I did feel that rich, that wealth. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I thought about that Lake Cuomo house and like the fantasy and this person just being so, so like generous, but also very, very successful. Um, and the two of you either building a lot together or, um, this person having a lot that they share, but it's definitely an upgrade. It's like in every single way, um, it's just like rich and indulgent. And you have Friday, Aphrodite's day, relax, date night, dancing bar number 40. You'll have the best first date. So this, as I said, I just felt this energy of music and celebration. We have Rihanna there. It's like dancing, partying, enjoying life together. You both share that and it's coming through really strongly. Ooh, I can't wait to hear these stories when you meet. Okay, now we'll get back to the charm reading. Okay, so over here, which I love, we have this starfish, and that's a real like connection to the King of Cups, to that water sign energy. You've got a couple of water sign messages. You have the Aphrodite love shell, um, but it can also be beach or um, you know meeting on a trip or being near water or that King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy that's coming through. Um, you also have the sword, and the sword is all about um, speaking your truth, being really clear. Um, it can also be about um, air sign energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, but I feel like in this case, it's really about um, this protective energy that I'm picking up on with this relationship. You also have the heart in separation, which can mean that the person lives far away, it can also mean that soulmate connection or twin flame connection of coming back together, which I definitely feel with the two of cups. Um, and so, you know, this can also be world traveling, which I kind of feel like the travel thing with that George Clooney energy. Okay. And you have I love you forever and that two of cups. This is a long-term relationship of true love. There's another heart, another love. Um, you have the coffee or teapot. That can be about, you know, going out on a date, or it could be that it's just something that is a connection for you. Maybe you have a teapot collection. Maybe you think of your grandmother or something about tea or coffee shop. Um, oh, there we go. There's the kind of confirmation about the money bag. This is about wealth and money. Um, and we have the 10 of pentacles, which is that wealth e card and the chocolate card from my deck. Um, with the rich indulgent and the upgrade. Um, so there you go with that confirmation. And if they are slightly older, we have that Capricorn energy. That's also 10 of Pentacles. That's family business. That's money, success, a CEO, somebody that's really in charge of their finances. 
So those are all your messages today. I hope you had fun with this reading. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All of those things really help my channel. If you want a one card, one question reading, check the description box and book it. Go to my website and you can purchase the Love Goddess Oracle that I created, Aphrodite Love Oracle there too. Um, and you can follow me on Instagram and check out all my links. I am sending you so much love and I'll talk to you soon. Hey, number two, here's your reading. You chose Cleopatra and Cleopatra says, when you are conquered, consider who wins. A queen must lead while a wife might follow. Both are diplomats. Be immortal, not defeated. Wow. So obviously all of these people are very powerful and Cleopatra was the queen of Egypt and um, an incredibly powerful woman in her time. Um, and I just feel this energy with you of being comfortable, being in charge, being comfortable, like running your own thing. So I just feel a very strong sense of independence um, and loving sort of luxury and beautiful things. There's a lot of like Libra energy, Taurus energy um, coming through for you. Um, let's see what we get for your partner. We get Jay-Z and it says avoid one-off deals or else make sure they are really worth it. The right partner is the one who can match you and then some. Who's going to help you run this town tonight? So this is like, you know, Cleopatra and Mark Antony, who was her, you know, her true love. Um, and so I'm getting this two powerful people equally um, kind of coming together in this relationship. So I feel like you're going to really match each other in your strength um, and have some, you know, like some differences in terms of the way that um, you react with this person. So I feel like you're really a powerful person, but in this relationship, you let your partner take the lead and you actually like someone who's going to take the lead for you. And that's what this person does. I'm definitely getting, um, a very strong earth sign energy from this partner, which would be um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is coming through. I feel like this is somebody who's just um, more of like, uh, it feels more corporate. It feels more kind of traditional, this relationship. And um, it feels like this person works in business. I'm definitely getting a strong business sense from them. Um, like they run, you know, they run a company or they run a business, but it's not like entrepreneur as much as I'm feeling a lot more energy of, um, like corporate. And I feel that, um, you two live in different towns, different States, and you meet through work, through business. Okay. That's what's coming through is that, um, you know, either you get a job where they're working, they get a job where you're working, but I, I'm definitely picking up on some distance between you and could be even two different cultures. Okay. Meaning like it could even be a foreign connection, but let's see what we get from the tarot. Number two, my Cleopatra. But just a lot of drama. I feel like that you're the dramatic person, and the person, the the person in your relationship, and then your partner is like sort of that calming force, that person that's just always there, who just kind of has that cool, calm kind of personality. That's why I'm feeling that earth sign energy. Wow. <laughs> This is the card that I got today for Sasha. I did a shout out for her today. You can check it out on the intro section of this video um, if you didn't watch the intro, but um, shout outs are one card uh, readings that I do. You can get one. It's $11, but um, the link is in the description to my website. But Sasha got the strength card, so I'm wondering if this would be your pile. Did you pick this pile? But um, So lots of Leo energy over here on this side, this dramatic fire sign energy for you and your partner coming through is that earth sign see this equal partnership the strength card is all about being strong but not overpowering and that's what I was feeling I felt like you are a really strong person and in this relationship though you let that partner take the lead you don't want to overpower them it's like there's definitely some alpha male energy coming through for your partner but it's like equal okay it's like Jay-Z and Beyonce
Okay, so you have the Six of Cups. Oh, beautiful. And the Sun card. Wow. Talk about lots of fire energy. Um, there's a possibility that you guys could have kids together someday. Um, this is this very, very romantic relationship. Even though you're both these kind of strong people, I feel like this partner is the strong, silent type. But you both come together um, because of this sense of like childhood innocence. There's something about this person that makes you feel like comfortable and safe. They remind you of home. They remind you of where you're from. There's something very sweet about it. And if maybe you guys have moved to different countries or moved to different states, maybe they're actually from where you grew up or you're from where they grew up. Um, there could be that connection as well. I do feel a distance between you now, um, but it could be that in the past you were close together. Um, what I see is this beautiful sun card, being able to ex like really shine in the world and be your best selves you know so much leo energy so much power coming through in this connection so i think this relationship is all about being equals allowing each other to shine and there's this very very strong sense of wanting the same things maybe even like i said coming from um, certain kind of family or there's like something that feels very safe and very familiar even if they're from a different place okay ah oh, beautiful yes this is a true love connection this is beautiful you've got the ace of cups as your overall it's just like you're both really being open you're both sharing your hearts even if this is something you haven't done in the past this is like the relationship and the gift from the universe that you've always wanted you know you're both coming at this as a true true love connection and i do think this is going to be something that lasts quite a while it's it's not like just a quick, you know, short term relationship. This definitely feels much longer, but that's so beautiful. Oh, I love it. Okay, now I'm going to pull you one of my cards Aphrodite Love Oracle. They are for sale. The link is in the description. Let's see. What message do you need about this relationship? Oh, you have diamond, Aphrodite's gemstone, tough, clear, brilliant, pure. The bond between you is unbreakable. Look at that. I said I felt it was long term and look what came up. And at the bottom of the deck, we have swans, Aphrodite's bird, soulmates, best friends, partners, true love, number two, love that will last forever. I was feeling that. Um, I was feeling this very long-term connection and there could be an engagement, you know, you have diamond coming up, but I love the tough part too, because I feel like Cleopatra's tough. I feel that Jay-Z's tough. I feel like you're both tough, but I feel like at your core together, you bring out that soft side. See what I mean? You have the Six of Cups, which is that childhood, that innocence, and you have the Ace of Cups. This is pure, pure, open-hearted love, okay? So if you have been, you know, someone that protected yourself a little bit, or you're definitely running your own show, and it's like this person softens you up and you soften them up, okay? That's the message that's coming through. Let's see what crystal you get today. What crystal message do you need about this connection? Okay. You have direction, super seven. Um, Al Risha star, number 20. Okay, so we have number two here and 20, which is a number two, which is that beautiful connection. Could be twin flame, soulmate energy, just true partnership. Um, and, you know, the direction, it's, you know, I feel that for some of you, um, although you're strong and independent and, um, you know, you might be really successful, I feel like there's part of you that has kind of um, wanted somebody to go on this journey with, wants somebody to share with, wants some, somebody to like bounce off your ideas. Um, and I do think that this could be not only just like a relationship, but I feel like you guys have something you want to build together because we also have that beautiful strength card um, about really being equals and partners. There could be a partnership in terms of business too. Like maybe you're the creative person and they're the, um, 
the business part of it. There's, you know, it's like you guys bring, you both bring something to the table that really helps you move forward in life. Okay, so you have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Wow. So you're getting a message that you have some really, really strong, powerful people on the other side that are protecting you, that are, you know, and I find that really interesting. And, and because you chose Cleopatra, Cleopatra obviously has this, like, this strong family, this lineage, a queen. So I feel like you have this very strong, um, a very strong female, um, you know, people on the other side, whether it's people that have passed or, um, you know, maybe you know that you have this, like this angelic realm around you, the spirit guides, your ancestors, maybe you come from a very, you know, sort of long line or traditional family that goes back in your generations. And that's really important to you. So that's being confirmed that those people and that energy is around you right now. Okay, so let's get you a French fortune overall message about this relationship. Aw, you got dog. And you know what? I felt with this energy of this relationship, like I said, this person's solid. They're like the someone you can count on, someone who's loyal. I felt so much earth sign energy. And this is all about somebody who is there for you, someone who's loyal, somebody who's by your side, your companion, someone you can trust. Um, it's like your best friend and your partner, and you did have best friend here and soulmates, true love. Um, and it's unconditional, you know, with the dog card, it's like unconditional love. It's the absolute best, you know, if you've ever had a dog or if you love dogs, you know that they're just always there for you, you know, no matter what. Um, but so there's lots of messages here about you being friends, about there being loyalty and companionship. And also there's like some mutual benefit. I do feel that between the two of you. Um, and this person is going to be really devoted, you know. Um, I love it. Okay, beautiful. Now I'm going to do your charm reading. So you might want to turn the volume down if you have headphones in. Let's see what messages we can get from the charms today. I'll give you a quick second. Okay, here we go. And you know what else I love? I was just thinking the diamond with Cleopatra because Cleopatra was known as this beauty who had all of these jewels and the palace and all of that stuff. That's why I was feeling that Cle the um, Libra and Taurus energy too. So um, maybe you're super girly or you just love like beautiful, you, you're really into makeup tutorials. Maybe you watch them all the time. <laughs> you know, maybe you do cat eyes. Um, so that's just coming through. Wow, the sword's been coming up a lot. The last few readings that I've done, they've really coming up a lot. So we really have to speak up for ourselves, get clear, get, be clear about what you want. Um, I also feel this is that loyalty and that someone who would defend you, I'm kind of feeling like. Um, look over here. We have the anchor inside the dream catcher. So um, I do feel like there's some sort of, um, that's also protective energy, a dream catcher. So more of the, like the dog energy, the protector, the loyal, um, but also with the anchor, it's like somebody who's like part of your dreams. Like it's anchored to something that's really important to you. Um, we also over here have the cross. Um, so there could be a religious connection between the two of you. You could both share the same religion or be spiritual. Um, doesn't have to be that you're Christian, but you could be, um, and this is also about sacrifice. So, you know, there might be some sort of sacrifice involved in you guys being together. Um, and you also, here's that separation, the lovers in separation, which I felt. I feel, I felt a distance between you. Um, like I said, could be even from a different culture. 
Um, believe in love. Yes, I love you forever. Well, you did get the swan's message from the Aphrodite Oracle with soulmates, best friends, true love, love that will last forever. And we have I love you forever. So we have confirmation there. And you have the leaf, which can be about the fall time frame. That could be when you meet, when you get together. It can also be about letting something go, change and transformation. So that's your beautiful reading today, my Cleopatras. I am so excited. Please write all your comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. All those good things really, really help. Check the link in the description box to my website if you want to get a reading or you need anything else. All my links are there. I will talk to you soon. Hey, number three, here's your reading. You chose Lena Dunham. And Lena Dunham says, everyone forgets you except you. It's okay to play hide and seek by yourself. Don't be afraid of standing on the shoulders of your parents. And so this is somebody who, um, you know, your energy is coming through as somebody who's quirky, somebody who doesn't follow rules, um, somebody who's definitely a feminist and someone who wants a love that is going to be different. Okay, there's something unusual about it and there's something, um, somebody who is going to really understand you and allow you to be you, you know, which is so important for everyone, but I think particularly for this energy. Okay, so let's take a look at the relationship, the partner energy coming in. Wow, so we have Ernest Hemingway. So cool. You know, Lena Dunham's a writer, and so is Ernest Hemingway, obviously. Um, treasure those seconds when you felt your heart beating. Don't allow any tourists into your own private Paris. To love someone and mean it is a rare and valuable thing. Um, I see this connection between you and obviously, you know, these are just kind of personality types. It's not age or, you know what I mean? Ethnicity. This is just like the energy that I'm picking up on. Um, but what I feel like is for this connection is you both respect each other's like creative genius. You both respect each other's quirkiness or, um, you know, you're both respect one another's privacy too, or time of solitude. I'm getting like a little bit of energy for both of you of being, um, you know, slightly, um, just slightly res like more quiet, less, um, outgoing, more kind of, you know, one on into one-on-one -on -one conversations, not like running in and being the center of attention. I do pick up on both of you with this writing thing that you're both creative. You could be writers, um, but you also can just be, you know, talented in some way. Um, and there's just this strong desire for love and um, it just feels like intense. It feels like an intense relationship. It feels like a supportive relationship and it definitely feels different, offbeat, you know, funky, fun. Um, but let's see what else comes through with this because um, obviously Ernest Hemingway was incredible romantic. Um, Definitely wrote about things in a different way that was sometimes shocking. Lena Dunham also um, has her shocking moments. And so I feel like it's really about this relationship is about both of you being um, free spirits. Oops. I do see this person as being athletic and outdoorsy, like Ernest Hemingway vibe, which is someone who's not only just a writer, but also an outdoors person. Um, they feel like they're coming more from like a country vibe and she obviously is feeling much more city to me with that background, like an apartment building. So I'm kind of feeling like you guys may have different like places that you live, like, um, but you connect through, I feel like you connect through your work or you connect through your creativity, but let's see what comes up. Okay. So we have the Six of Swords reversed. We have the beautiful High Priestess. 
Wow. <laughs> and the lover's card. Oh, amazing. Okay. So it's like you found your person here. I love it. Um, I feel like for some of you, there had been some relationship or something from your past that you've been kind of struggling leaving. You've been struggling getting away from or physically actually even leaving. Um, and so change wasn't that easy for you when it came to relationship. But I feel like when you meet this person, you are going to have such a strong, strong intuitive sense. You're going to be in your complete high priestess mode where this person activates you both in the physical world and in the metaphysical. Like you, you guys speak the same language, which is almost impossible for other people to even get because, um, you're both kind of in this fantasy place. You both kind of love fantasy things. You like the same movies. You like the same books. You like, um, you express yourselves the same way. And you have this understanding um, that's like merging of one. I just see this high priestess as kind of being both of you coming together. And you kind of connect in a really, really cool way. Um, obviously, this ends up being probably the love of your life. This is the person you're meant to be with. Um, this is the soulmate card. This is the lover's card. So um, this is a big deal. It's definitely a big deal. So I would advise you if you're in something that doesn't feel right, doesn't feel healthy, doesn't make you happy, if there's a lot of conflict or sorrow, um, you know, the universe wants you to move away from that because you, you need to trust yourself, trust your intuition and know that there's this beautiful love coming because there's this stuck energy um, over here with that six of swords. Let's see what we get. Okay, so... There might be a fire sign person connected with this Six of Swords energy, someone who isn't being generous with you or someone from the past. Um, that would be Leo Sag Aries who, who hurt you, who, you know, wasn't kind, maybe was cruel, selfish. Um, for some of you, you may have dealt with narcissists. And, um, and so it's been hard for you to move on, I think, from that. Yeah. So there's definitely something, maybe even for some of you who went through a divorce, we have that justice card, or you just felt like your the relationships in the past, there wasn't any fairness or any justice. But look what's coming. I mean, this is unbelievably amazing. We have that beautiful energy of the lover's card. Um, let's see if we can get any signs coming in about this person. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of messages about staying in something that isn't healthy or isn't right. Um, okay, so yeah, this person's coming through with Taurus energy. I did feel a lot of groundedness as well as that creativity, um, but I asked for some guidance about the sign, and the Hierophant is usually that Taurus energy. So um, I, I think that they probably have... Um, either Taurus sun rising or moon. I definitely see them as kind of like, um, I'm getting a visual of like a little bit like medium height, kind of broad, muscular, um, and medium to shorter, not tall, not thin, but like kind of stocky, but in, in shape is coming through. And they could have facial hair because even though this isn't exact, this this person is coming through that way. You know, I'm not... I'm not basing anything on just the cards, but it's really more about the energy that comes through in the reading. Wow, this is really cool. I love this connection. <laughs> Obviously, when you get the lover's card, it's perfect. Okay, so your crystal message is hematite, culmination, root chakra, number seven. Um, you know, the root chakra is really about that stuff that grounds us, the stuff that is, you know, keeps us in a really, it's where we draw all of our strength. And so um, this relationship feels to me like it's got real depth, that it goes really deep, that you connect at a deep level. And you have the number seven, which is a spiritual number and a spiritual connection. Okay, let's get one of my cards. These are for sale, the Aphrodite Love Oracle. You can check the link. In the description section. Let's see what Aphrodite has to say about this connection. Roses. 
Aphrodite's flower, devotion, true love, affectionate safety. Yes, number nine, this love is a gift. I definitely feel this love is a gift. And I think that is going to be the thing that you recognize when you meet this person, that you feel safe immediately. It's like I said, you're going to trust it. You're going to know in your gut. You're going to get that intuitive hit. Stephanotis, Aphrodite's flower, wedding, tradition with hierophant, ceremony, marriage, number 45, a wedding is coming. Okay, so we have total confirmation here. Stephanotis is this beautiful flower that's known as the wedding flower. It's white. It smells beautiful. It smells kind of like um, gardenia or jasmine. Um, but here we go. We've got the Hierophant. This is ceremony. This is tradition. And we've got the Lover's card. So this is real conf confirmation about this, this seriousness of this connection. Wow. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get you an overall message from the Oracle. Share your voice. Come out of the cave. Persecution. Expression. Wow. Look at that. So for those of you that have been withdrawn, you know, you had so much energy over here with the tower reverse, with the six of wands reverse, justice reverse, king of wands reverse. I feel that energy of conflict, of um, persecution. You know, justice reversed would be persecution. Literally, it's not justice not being served things not being fair. Um, so I think a lot of you have, may have um, a connection to that at a soul level and really be feeling that energy. And so the message for you is that to come out um, and to release that energy because you have this beautiful, beautiful um, soul, soul connection and coming. But if there is some release that has to happen first, for sure. Okay. Let me get you an overall French fortune. Oop. Oh, you got bouquet. And we have wedding. We have bouquet. Here's the hierophant. The stephanotis, which is the wedding flower that people carry in their bouquet on their wedding day. You have roses. Um, so you have two flower cards from the Aphrodite. And you have the bouquet from the French Le Monde. So um, pretty amazing. Lots of very specific messages here about, um, you know, long term. You also have the number nine in the roses card and the nine here with um, the bouquet. Wow. So, yeah, lots of lots of wedding energy, lots of um, like affection between the two of you and contentment. You know, the bouquet card is all about um, more than just the bouquet and flowers, but also about um, like, a, you know, like a gesture from someone, from someone you really love that is really showing their sincerity and their, 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 you know, their contentment in the relationship. Um, I just feel like you're going to feel so understood and so like, just, you're going to get that romance. I do feel like it's just, it's romance between the two of you. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Okay. Now, let's get to your charm reading. Turn down your volume. If you've got headphones in, it can be a little loud sometimes. So I'll give you a second. Okay. You have the beautiful, I'm really drawn to this, the angel wings. Um, because that's that protective energy. Oh, look what's here, Taurus. I said Taurus. And doesn't that look like that? Amaze. I love it. Okay, so we have, and the Hierophant, which is also the Taurus card. We have total confirmation here. So yeah, that Taurus energy. Somebody who's, you know, really solid. Somebody who is kind of, you know, shorter, muscular, the whole thing. Okay, so we also have the shoe. Now, that can mean um, work. That can mean um, maybe you love shoes, um, but <laughs> who doesn't? Um, but it can mean a connection to work, which I did feel too. 
Um, believe in yourself. Yes, I do think that's an important message given all of the cards that we pulled for you over here. So I, I really want to give you that message. And this is about releasing and you definitely have things that you need to release, I think, in order to make way for this energy. So powerful, powerful messages today. Um, please be sure to write all your comments below. Let me know how you connect it. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Subscribe if you haven't yet. It's free. Just click the button. It's so easy and it really, really helps. If you would like a one card question answered, um, check the link to my website below and I do shout outs which I did today um, for Sasha hi Sasha and you can check the intro if you want um, the shout out just check the chapter below if you want to see what they're like I just pull a card yes one question and it's a way for us to all connect on these videos I love it um, and it's just $11 you can also purchase the Aphrodite love oracle which I used today um, that's on my website and and um, check out my Instagram and all my links. They're all there. I am sending you so much love and I'll talk to you all soon. Hey, number four, here's your reading. You chose Joan of Arc and her message is only settle for eternity. Love and faith will defeat violence. Be not afraid of fire and arrows or anything that may come. Wow. She is super, super powerful. Um, obviously, Joan of Arc, very, very brave, um, amazing person um, in history, amazing, strong female power, um, and somebody who really fought for what she believed in. And I feel like that's the energy that you have, that you will, you'll, you're like one of those really supportive friends. You're someone who fights for people that don't have what, you know, fights for people that can't fight for themselves and um, has a very strong belief system, okay? And that's what's coming through. So um, interesting though also about don't be afraid of fire and arrows. We'll see how that plays out with your reading. Maybe you have that beautiful, long, fiery red hair. I love it if you do, that is so amazing. But just identifying with that person who's strong, who's powerful and who fights for what they believe in and has really strong values and convictions, okay? So that's what's coming through in your energy. Let's see what's coming through in your partner with this relationship. Okay, so your partnership energy is coming through with the Ryan Gosling card. Silence has more meaning than words you don't say, than the words you don't say. The hardest role to play is yourself. Don't let someone else write your private life. Wow. This is the classic strong silent type. I think that as out there and as like much of a... Um, kind of a person that is, um, you know, doesn't, sh not shy, doesn't shrink away from things. Um, you know, I feel like the person coming in in this relationship is, is kind of your complete counter, complete balances you out in that they have very strong convictions too, but they keep things to themselves. They're very, very kind of stoic. And, um, you know, this is kind of that, like I said, that strong, silent type who likes to really, I think that you're much more public and this person is much more private. Okay. But you guys love each other and you come together because you both do really believe in things. This person isn't as vocal as you are, um, but they definitely have those strong, strong convictions. And that's what is bringing this relationship together. It's like you share the same values. Okay, so let's see what else comes through. Oh, wow. Victorious, six of wands, more fire energy. It's interesting because it said, I'm not afraid of fire or arrows, which is totally... Um, wand energy in the tarot and also she's got the red hair so there's a lot of fire sign leo sag aries um, and this is the victory this is someone who's very successful someone who's really proud someone who's riding on a horse and she's riding on a horse um, so maybe you actually ride horses literally or um, this is about you know 
taking the lead, coming in, and also getting a lot of attention for things that you do. So maybe you are a social media influencer, maybe you're popular among your friends or your friend group, or you run a, you know, an organization, but there's a lot of success here. Wow. Talk about the strong silent type, the emperor. <laughs> um, so we have Aries and Capricorn energy coming through, but and, and the solid connection of um, a, a solid, stable relationship and also um, someone who has wealth. So I feel like that emperor energy with the Ryan Gosling is like, they don't have to be loud, but you know they're in charge, that kind of thing. Okay, wow. So you've got the... Four of Wands, a lot of wand energy, um, which is that fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Um, and this is the 11, known as the 1111 card. So if that's a number, if you connect with the angel um, number 1111 and manifestation and messages of, around you, um, that's this message is for you. So that's also the wedding, the celebration, could be marriage. It could be that this relationship leads to that. Um, it's interesting that both of you in the cards are driving somewhere she's driving on a horse obviously and he's driving a car but it's like this determination so what I'm really picking up on is this determination and also that you both have like somewhere that you're headed somewhere you're going to um, it could be that you connect at an event at a rally at a wedding at some sort of big fanfare place okay um it could be something that you're doing that you're starring in and this person is coming to see you or coming to visit you. Like I'm just getting this energy of this movement between you. Okay. But yeah, super, super fiery and powerful. Okay. So there feels like there could be in your past um, an earth sign energy, someone, a king of pentacles energy, which would be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, someone who um, didn't value you, didn't, couldn't handle you, um, was threatened by you or threatened by what you were doing. And that is not something that you ever want to, um, to repeat again. With the nine of pentacles, it's like um, there can be a part, with nine of pentacles can be like that. I'm financially independent. I'm a single woman and I don't need anyone and so that's definitely coming through with the Joan of Arc stuff but with the Ryan Gosling it's like I'm an independent person too and um you know I sorry about that I hit the camera I want someone who um who is like this partnership this person this energy coming in loves that about you yeah and they have been um really kind of blocking love too so you guys have that in common it's like I feel like both of you have kind of put up walls when it comes to relationships in the past and when you finally meet it's like you've met your match okay beautiful but yeah there feels like some sort of an event some sort of celebration something um that you both go to that it, it brings you together because I just love this I feel like they're both coming towards me um okay let's get you an Aphrodite message. These are my cards. They are for sale. What does Aphrodite want you to know today? Goose! Aphrodite's bird. Celebration. Party. Indulgence. Selfishness. Number 20. Put your needs first. Yes, you are as the Joan of Arc character and with the six of, um, you know, this independent person who's done their own thing, that nine of um, pentacles, this six of wand energy, which is success and celebration. Um, that's, this is definitely a celebration card and this is a celebration card. So we're getting total confirmation. But as I said, I do almost feel like you guys are going to meet at some sort of celebration and it could, like I said, it could be something you're doing. Um, it could be your birthday. It could be your party. It could be your work thing. It could be something that you're, if you're an artist, something, or if you're a, a um, an activist. Um, I feel like that's, you know, this, this person is coming, um, to see you and you focusing on yourself and what you believe in is how you connect with this person. Wow. Total confirmation of that party stuff. Okay. 
Ooh, Aphrodite's home, Paphos, home, neighborhood, family, roots, number one, love is close by. See, this person's coming to you. You're not traveling to them. So um, that's what that feels like, is that they are coming to you. That makes complete sense. Okay, let's get you a crystal message about this connection. What crystal energy do we have today? We have expression, flower agate, throat chakra number three. Yeah, you know, throat chakra number three, it's like speaking up and um, Joan of Arc is carrying a sword there. So maybe, um, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of fire sign energy, Leo, Sagittarius, but also it could be air, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, because we have that sword message um, expressing yourself. This is about speaking your truth. By doing that, you connect with this person. They respect you. They respect all of, um, you know, all the things that, that you are and that how you express yourself. And you're definitely the talker in the relationship. <laughs> they are not. Ooh, beautiful. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Wow. So a lot of the things that have gone on in your past and in your life have kind of been leading to this moment. I take this message as saying that the world is unfolding for you and you've kind of set yourself up to be on this path, okay, by being open to it, um, by, you know, by showing the world who you are, you're really connecting with this love energy. Beautiful. Okay, let's get you an overall French fortune about your relationship. What is this relationship? Oh, I love it. Book. This comes up a lot lately. Um, if you watched a previous reading from me and you got the reading with book, I'd, I'd love to hear from you. Um, this is number 26. And... Um, you know, I love the book message because it's really about um, connecting with knowledge. And this reading feels like, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of information. There's a lot of learning. There's a lot, you know, with Joan of Arc, it just feels like someone who's seeking, someone who has things to share, someone who's got life lessons. Um, that energy is definitely coming through and it's coming through for this connection. So it could also be that you guys connect through um, learning, through t teaching, through informal, like, um, you know, spiritual workshop, self-improvement stuff, something that, you know, some sort of uh, lecture, um, you know, history, because, you know, you've got Joan of Arc here, and it could be like history, or you connect through a history class, or um, you're sharing your information, you're holding a workshop. I definitely feel that there's tons of intelligence and information and knowledge around this connection, okay, if that makes sense. Write your comments below if you relate to that. I'd love to hear um, your stories, but yeah, really, really beautiful. And also with that rose message, the ever unfolding rose, it's like, it's like knowledge and learning and, and life just opening up for you and the door opening up and you're headed together in the same direction. So I love that. Okay, so now let's see what the charms have for you today. Messages from the charms. You might want to turn your volume down if you've got headphones on because sometimes this can be a little loud. So I'll give you a sec. Okay. Wow. I mean, Joan of Arc and we have the cross. Amazing. So um, there's definitely, uh, for some of you, a connection to Christianity, to your religion, to your beliefs um, in this connection. So I would love to hear that. Um, we have the ballerina, and this is someone who works really hard at something and is a perfectionist and has incredible skill. It can also be a message of you're a dancer and of actual ballerinas or going to the ballet. Um, you have Taurus energy, which is that strong, powerful, determined energy. Um, you also have the shell, which is the Aphrodite love message, 
and oh look you have the shamrock which is good luck good fortune and you have the anchor which is like wanting to anchor to someone wanting that long-term commitment and you did have that beautiful four of wands message um you had the book and you have knowledge and you have the wise old owl so that could be another message about university college learning workshop study all of those messages you also have the moon and the star which is about um, you know your dreams wishing on a star those are all your beautiful messages please write your comments below like comment subscribe hit the notification bell all those things are free they really help if you haven't subscribed yet click subscribe it's free and if you want information about purchasing the Aphrodite love oracle that I designed or if you'd like a one card reading like the one I did for Sasha today hi Sasha you can check the link below it's a link to my website where you can get all the information I am sending you so much love and I'll talk to you soon.